Okie doke. Seems to be okay, I think. So we should continue. Right now we have a worn knife, which does 4 to 12 damage. We found this broken training sword, which does 5 to 11. I Did I search the entire house while I was blabbing? I might have missed something. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to do the auto map there. Let's just pop back in here and make sure that I picked everything up. I think I did. I went in here and got the healing potion and blue flask. I can't use that. Okay. Um, might as well grab that in case our dagger breaks. We can also sleep in his bed if we wish, which passes time. But we don't need to do that right now. Okay, let's go up here and talk to this nice dwarf. Wherever he went. Here he is. Gods, what's that smell of pigfish? Oh, there's a human here. What do you want? Do you have a problem with humans, or are you just obnoxious to everyone in equal measure? The latter. Now, why don't you go and bother the elf? His folk like pointless chattering, and maybe he won't mind your human stink a pig flesh. Wow. I'm just gonna be super nice to you. You look like a reputable healer. Re oh, redoubtable healer. Huh? You've heard about the legendary dwarven healing powers, ain't you, human? As skilled as flesh as a stone, and they say, as they say, well, know that you're standing before Otho Rignaforoxix. Wow, nice name. Proud servant of the everlasting source. Not that I've noticed a lot that's everlasting about it lately. Damn me. Hmm, is there something wrong with the source? Something wrong, something wrong, everything wrong. Damn ye. I cannot connect to, to it anymore. First, I was thinking it was because I... I drunk too much of that foul brew. Gomo calls ale. But all the healers here have lost their link to the source. This will kill those poor lads for sure. Are there patients here who can only be healed through the source? Soldiers, both of them. Survivors from a skirmish with some orc bandits. Conventional, do conventional doctrine and a few minor healing spells we got to hand over have failed. Only infusing them with the source could save them. Or Gomo's healing shrine, of course. But that busted too right now. Hmm. What's this I hear about Gomo's healing shrine? Gomo has a shrine that's connected with the source. It produces healing gems, which we can use to heal patients. It's something we use when we have a lot of patients because connecting to the source can be pretty exhausting. Unfortunately, the shrine won't recharge itself because it's lost its connection to the source as well. There's only one charge left, and we can't use it to save both of them. One poor sod will have to die. So you can't decide which patient to save with the last healing gem? Taint that simple as that. Problem is, our healer vows to stop our healer vows stop us from killing even by inaction, you see. Give the gem to Gomo's patient, and mine'll die for sure. And vice versa. Either way, we'll be deciding who lives and who dies, and we can't do that. Hmm, where can I find this shrine? Thinking of taking matters into your own hands, human? Think you can judge which of these two good men is more worthy to live? Damn. For a while there, I thought you weren't as callous as you looked. But I should have trusted my nose. Only one in ten of you pig-skinned humans has got the soul the seven gods gave a goat. I'm not going to tell you where the shrine is. It's the only way to see that you do no harm. Now go away. I have serious matters to attend to. Fine, fine. But first, he's got some money and some healing potions. Good to know, good to know. How much are these worth? Forty-four? I will keep those, even though I'm not really sure what they do. I'm going to save and see what I can steal from this five fine gentleman. Let's see here. Locked cupboard? Let's sneak around here. What's... Nope. Oh, nothing in there. There's a broom. We don't need the broom. Let's see. A destroyed dagger. Jeez. Here's the sick man. Don't tear my fingernails out. I'll cooperate. Please, let me live. Be at ease. You are dreaming, my friend. Please, don't let them come back. I've promised to cooperate. I'll leave you be. You need your sleep. He doesn't say anything interesting. Um, let's see if I can sneak. There's a chest here that's locked. So, there's probably a key around. Oh, look. There's one now. And he's... Okay, face the other way, dude. Face the other way so I can steal your stuff. Uh, what's this book? Is it interesting? The Dwarves' View of Dwarves. Certain information gleaned by Pecorino the Researcher. 
Hilmar Habroff, a granite dwarf and lawmaster of high regard among his people, was interviewed by myself at the Dwarven Breed Bread Inn during his recent trading mission to the duchy. I do not wish to question the veracity of his honorable dwarf's answer to my questions, but I, I estimate Hilmar contained nearly as much ale as a half-full barrel he was leaning on at the time. PTR. What is the reason for the relatively small stature of dwarven people? HH. It's an economy measure. If we were any taller, we'd have to dig bigger tunnels to get about. PTR. How tall can dwarves grow? HH. There was once a dwarf who never drank meat or ale. Poor bugger grew to the height of four dwarves on top of each other. That's why we dwarves drink alcohol from birth, to stunt our growth to a decent size. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Yes, very interesting. Let's see here. Uh, I want the empty flask. I want to collect flasks. I don't know if I should do that right away. Because I can do alchemy later. Uh, once I get the skill in it. Maybe I'll come back once this guy is sleeping. Yeah, come on, man. Face the other way. Okay. Ha. Sneaky, sneaky. I don't have a fantastic. Okay, a battle hammer of swiftness. That's that's a nice find. This is locked tight. I can't unlock that, unfortunately. I don't have the key to that, but let's save. And we haven't looked at our journal yet, so let's do that. This is our our diary. Find a cure for Verlat. The soldier Verlat was badly wounded during an orc ambush and is now in the care of a dwarven healer, Otho. To heal him, I need to access a shrine of healing near Gomo's house that produces healing gems. Yep, yep, yep. He's got another soldier, and uh, I need to find a way to duplicate the gem if I want to save both patients. So, it's actually handy that our diary tells us that we need to duplicate the gem, because when I played the first time, I didn't read my diary entry, and I had no freaking clue what I was supposed to do. But, uh, yeah. I don't think we can do that quite yet. So, let's just go around... I'm going to make use of the map markers here. I'm going to put, this is Otho. And I'm just going to make sure I know. Oh, yes. This is what, I think this is how you do it. If I drag an empty flask onto the mushroom. It seems I need more training yes. before I can do this. Okay. I just want to make sure that's how you do it. Because I couldn't figure that out before. I had to look that up. Um, but I don't have the alchemy skill, so... I will be getting that for sure, because I think that will be really handy later on. Um, okay, let's just kind of uncover the map a bit here. As you can see, we also have um, stamina. If you ever played Diablo 2, or maybe Diablo 1, I don't know if it was like that in Diablo 1. Um, when we run around, it takes our stamina. We can toggle run on and off and just walk, and then we'll regenerate our stamina back, but... Yeah, um, I think, let's see, agility? No, constitution gives us more stamina. But what I'm going to do first when I level up is get more agility, because I want to get 25 agility-ish, so I can use some really good bows. That's what I did last time, and that seemed to work pretty good. However, it does depend on us finding a good bow, <laughs> which may or may not happen, so we'll see. Now this garden here... Okay, Drundane. This is a plant, so... Okay. I should have snuck while I did that, huh? Hold, human! What the hells are you doing sneaking around Lanalor's garden? He may be just an elf, but don't give you the right to take free of his herbs. I have his permission, friend dwarf. Really? What's that you're carrying? Drundanai? Drundane? What do you need that for? Lanerlor told me he needs it for a potion to help Martanius. <laughs> Alright, I guess that was good enough as an excuse. Now let's sneak and get the rest. I believe this plant is some kind of drug. <laughs> I think? Correct Sorry, me. I can't oh. use that. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong about that. Um, book. Natural alchemy. The power of nature. Nothing is stronger than the nature natural powers because they come directly from the holy gods. As they made the world, the gods instilled their powers into the creation, and even after their sacrificial departure, the gods remain with us, in the natural world and in our own bodies. This is especially true of plant life. Every plant, herb, or mushroom that grows has its practical potential, even if we do not yet know all their secrets. 
Everybody can and should learn the skill of natural alchemy. It gives them the ability to make useful potions or salves that can heal the body, dissolve fatigue, or neutralize poisons. It is also simple to profit from these powers, as you need all you need is an empty flask, the right herb, and the knowledge of how to create the potion. For example, if you find a bright red herb or mushroom, you're able to make healing potions. Strong blue plants give mana potions, and vibrant yellow ones restore your stamina. But beware of bright green plants and some mushrooms, because they have the deadliest poisonous effects. Okay, green plants and some mushrooms. Hmm. After studying the plants around my home for many years, I now intend to leave and go to the mysterious dark forest. I am sure that the home of the elves, the race most in tune with the plants, will contain much greater natural powers than everything I have discovered in my life so far. Okay, the dark forest has good plants. So here's some herbs. Um, I'm not going to mess with them because I don't have any alchemy yet, but I'm going to save the game again. Um, apologies again, I'm going to be saving a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't feel like we... Okay, so these are gray mushrooms and red mushrooms. Different kinds of mushrooms. Again, we're just uh, clearing out the map here, so we want to discover everything. Here's somebody who likes beehives. Okay. Mordani is my friend. Did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look! Here they come! Oh, begone, foul creatures! Oh, dear me. Come, Mardanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. Doom and destruction! What? <laughs> you! Oh, Thelion Hashnitar, the Lord of Decay! Oh, begone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor. Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul brew, Thelion. Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! No, Mardanius, no! I am Lanilor! Oh, dear. That can't be good. Let's see if we can help this poor guy out. Oh, stranger, please rescue me from this icy p, -p prison It's getting so c, c cold to, to bear. Hmm. I don't know, a few hours you'll be a nice ice sculpture. <laughs> no. Um, let's see. Whoa, I can see that you're freezing to death, friend. Hang on there, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Let's see. We need to convince this guy to unfreeze him. So, he's locked his door, which is unfortunate. Let's see here. He's got a book on how to make honey. Don't think that's useful to me right now. So let's see if we can find a different way into his house. Because we obviously want to help unfreeze this guy as soon as possible. We don't want him to die. He could be useful. Oh, what's this? A sp uh, suspicious looking well. Aha! Oh god. Right. Um, I forgot to tell you guys about that. For some reason, the game sound every once in a while bugs out like that. Um, it hasn't lasted for more than a few seconds each time so far, so I just, I've decided to disregard it. Um, I apologize. I know it's rather not pleasant. A skeleton! Yeah. Woo! Okay. Our first battle. Oh, okay, yes, kill the rat as well. But, um, yeah, so it's gonna do that, I guess, every once in a while. I don't know how to fix it. If anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. But, um, again, I'm using the Steam version. I can't patch it using the uh, patch that is on the uh, website, what is the, the, whatever company made this game, I forgot. Um, the, the patch that is on there is actually for I can't use that. the CD version, so I can't do that. And, uh, okay, looks like a bunch of minor stamina potions. Um, it might, might be like a driver issue or something, I'm not sure, so yeah. Bash? Aha, nothing. Why would you lock a chest that has nothing in it? Alright, so. There is a way um, to actually get into the house of that wizard through this dungeon. It's not a very big dungeon, it's very tiny. In fact, I think that skeleton is the only monster. 
Nothing in here? Nope. Ah, a bronze key. Pick it up. Pick it. Pick it. Thank you. And an orange. Locked. I bet you the key goes to that. Outstanding. Outstanding. 